What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing, review and flip through on an indie deck. Uh, right now I kind of forgot what it was called, but you'll know the name of it from the title of this video. Ta-da! You look this. Oh my God, stickers! Ooh, look at this. Is this the two of cups? Or the lovers? Is this the lovers? Like a cute thank you card. I'm sticking this in my journal. Here is the deck. Oceanum, Oceanum Arcane? I think that's what it's called. Oceanum Arcane. Look how beautiful. You can totally see my ring light. Let me take this plastic off. Ooh, so this box has like a soft touch finish. Gold foil details. So pretty. Is this upside down? No, it isn't. It kind of it kind of looks upside down. Is that a submarine? What is that? The big ass fish, that's what it is. <laughs> Opens like this. Crunchy. Comes with the little white book. Generally, I don't sniff these because it's literally just like, you know, your typical little white book. So we're not sniffing this one. I was kind of hoping the edges were that like matte glittery gold, but it's the edging that I don't like, the gilded ones. It does look glittery though. I just don't, I'm not a fan of that one. Let's take this card condom off. These are the bags. So pretty. This is so cool. But I'm gonna flip the camera over so we can get a closer look at the artwork. That way you don't gotta look at my face the whole time. All right, welcome to my table, <laughs> AKA altar. So these are the bags. And then this is the edging or the I guess the gilding just a closer look for you guys so let's get to the flip through now as far as cardstock it's fairly sturdy but it still has like flexibility to it and it is a matte finish oh my god it's an email I like how they're looking into the abyss like should I go or should I stay the magician uh, I think that's a squid, if not a form of octopus. Why does it, why does it look sad though? Its eyes just look sad to me. Whoa, look at this high priestess. It's a scary anglerfish. Oh my god, there was an anglerfish in the 78 Tarot, the animal deck edition. But not for the high priestess, I think it was for their moon card. It looked badass. This is so cool. Is a whale. The emperor is another whale. I love that they're holding the little, even like with the empress, they were holding the shield and they're over here holding, I'm assuming that's like a staff of some sort. The hierophant is a dolphin, they're little dolphin buddies. The lovers. Oh, that's so cool. They have, they have freaking seahorses for the lovers. In my deck, I also put seahorses. Well, here, let me show you. Found it. So this is the lover's card in my deck, the Iris Tarot. Look, that's so cute. I love that they also have seahorses for the lovers. How cool is that? The chariot. So cute. I love the line work in their art as well. Like the, I forget what it's called. Crosshatch, I believe it is. Oh my god, look at this Justice card. It's one of those, like, um, I think they're called spider crabs. The Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. I also like how it's very, it's kind of like dark and ominous looking too. It's probably like their style. Maybe the cross hatching. Jutes Christ. Strength card, you got a big ass squid. The hanged man. Oh no. They hung him up. Whoa. Look at this death card. Is that a big ass whale? That is a cool looking whale though. Temperance. The devil. I like how the squid has little horns. And I think these are jellyfish. The tower. 
Oh my god, look at this star car. This is so pretty. Again, it looks like, to me it kind of looks like they're crying. Like a little bit of tears coming out or something. It's probably not the case, it just looks that way. I also love the rainbowy colors going on here in the water. The moon is so pretty. The sun, oh, that's that big ass fish we saw in the back of the of the box right here. I was like, what is that? That is huge. Judgment, whoa, they're diving for food. The wild mermaid. I'm getting Atlantis vibes. I like how they have the elemental symbols right there on the corners. Oh, now we're on the miners, Queen of Wands, this pretty looking octopus. Our King of Wands, another cool looking octopus. Oh, look at the geckos and stuff on their throne. The Knight of Wands. I think this is a type of, um, I was gonna say shrimp, uh, a type of squid, I believe. And Page of Wands. Oh, look at this page, they look so shy. Ace of Wands. So I'm wondering if the wands are octopi and squids. This is the two of wands. Oh, they're holding a little globe. The three of wands. So on the minors, um, minus the aces and the court cards, so there's no actual titles, it's just the number. Five of Wands, you got these two fishes duking it out, maybe. The Six of Wands. I like how the turtle is carrying the octopus. Look at this, he's like, oh, <laughs> they're fist. The Eight of Wands. Oh no. The Nine of Wands, he got beat up, probably by that dolphin. You know I heard, oh my god, are those bite marks? I heard the dolphins like to beat up some fish just for the hell of it. Ooh, look at this zebra looking octopus. Now we're on the Cubs, Queen of Cubs, Mermaid. King of Cubs, whoa. Is this, um, this is giving me the Loch Ness Monster vibes. Whoa, eel, maybe? Knight of Cups? Page of Cups. Or Ace of Cups. Oh, look at these little dudes. The Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Whoa. Four of Cups. This is one of those fishes that are like in the deepest of the deeps of the ocean, if you guys didn't know. It's really interesting how they have tactically little feet to hold themselves up. Our Five of Cups. They're like, what is that? Six of Cups. Is this a, some sort of shrimp or crawfish? Trying to hold the cup up to the fish. That is a long ass freaking fish. Jesus Christ. I like how they have deep underwater. Oh my God, is that a polar bear coming out of the cup? Um, deep underwater marine life, like sea life. And also the ones that are a little bit more towards the top of the water, I guess. Kind of like different levels of the ocean. They're kind of showing the creatures that are down there, which is pretty cool. Eight of Cups, Whale. Manta Ray. Ooh, rainbows. So many bubbles too. Oh my God. This Queen of Swords are like, what's up, bro? Now we're on the swords. <laughs> this Queen though. I like how they're so decked out. 
The King of Swords is another shark. Knight of Swords. This is cool. Can you imagine a freaking shark with armor like that? Page of Swords. Hammerhead. Ace of Swords. I think these are baby sharks. The Two of Swords. Ooh, it kind of looks like they have a fish hook in their eye. Ouch. Ooh, the Three of Swords. This looks like, um, I don't know if this is what they're called, but it looks like an eel shark. Four of swords, treasure. What is that? There is something in there. And right there I see eyes too. Five of swords. So I guess the swords are sharks. Whoa. Eight of Swords. For a second, I thought they ate an octopus, but it looks like um, clothes or something. Oh no. Ooh, the bone right there. Are those shark bones? Oh my god, look at those cute octopus. One was stuck. Now we're in the pentacles. Queen of pentacles. I think this is probably like walruses and sea lions and things like that. Or whales. We have whales here. Knight of pentacles. Beluga. Page of pentacles. I just think the name Beluga, it's just, it just sounds funny to me. So I like saying it. I know I'm weird. Ace of pentacles. More Whoa, what is this? I don't know what that is, but that's cool. Ooh, scary looking eel. It's a crab. So the pentacles have, oh my God. I believe this is a type of eel. I forgot the name of it though, but they have a big ass mouth. Um, so I guess the pentacles are a mixture of sea creatures. That is a cool job. This is the Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, looks like an underwater tree. The Eight of Pentacles. I love the, oh, look at the fish. They're just like, whoa. Nine of Pentacles. And then our Ten of Pentacles. So that was the flip through portion. Now this is normal tarot size, but let me grab a card from a deck to compare. This is from the Fairy Tale Tarot, and this is the o Oceanum Arcane, the Ocean Tarot. I hope I'm saying that right. So normal tarot size. It might just be that the corners are just cut different, slightly, but normal tarot size. As far as shuffling goes, well, actually, as far as holding it. I can comfortably hold the whole deck in one hand, comfortable overhand, and then let's see how it ripples. Yep, pretty nice to riffle. Well, I believe I covered everything. If I forgot anything, as usual, let me know in the comments down below. Oh, here are the stickers in case you wanted to see them closer. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below if I forgot anything. If you stuck to this part of the video, leave the dolphin emoji in the comments. That way I know. Don't forget to like the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!